So, yeah. I swear Oppo finds a way to make every single criticism slash complaint by the average person on affordable phones, and they fix those issues. So, Oppo says the Find N2 is the latest horizontally folding phone. This is something that has plagued affordable phones for the longest time, was the size and weight of the affordable phone. So, that's enough, you know, for the average person, that's a problem. Now, for a tech enthusiast and myself, probably yourself, you know, you don't want really to care how heavy the phone actually is. Again, you're using it for a reason. You have a foldable phone for a reason. But let's be honest, though, the Oppo Find N2 is smaller than a lot of other foldable phones. While, yes, it is longer on the horizontal axis, it is, of course, smaller on the vertical axis, which, of course, lets it be able to be a tad bit more or less heavy. You know, because it's not top heavy, right? It's more or less compact together in a correct orientation. So this is what the bad boy looks like. And I say this a million times, looks absolutely gorgeous. And of course we also have the fine and um, fine and to flip right here too, which of course is a direct competitor to the galaxy Z flip four. Now I will tell you right now, as in my last video, the biggest drawback of this phone has to be the fact that it is only available in China and they're not going globally. So are they going to possibly ship to other countries outside of China? It is possible. But at this moment in time, it looks like they're only going to kind of stay in a small region and they're not going to go globally. That really comes down to money and how much it costs to go global. It's not easy to go global by any company, let alone a company that isn't as developed as like, say, for example, Google microsoft or samsung so we kind of have that general idea of okay you know it's gonna be harder to find this phone so i have a second article to look at today it's actually gonna be oppo's foldable phone takes on samsung with flip and a tablet so we actually have some more pictures of this bad boy right here you guys can see yes we do have the beautiful outside camera which to be honest to be honest doesn't have that much of a you know bulging camera i'm actually heavily surprised i swear to god this company literally takes every complaint possible and says we're gonna fix it so as the outside display looks absolutely gorgeous inside display here bam obviously all this is written in chinese so i can't really understand half of this stuff uh, but this is what the home screen looks like. And again, like I said before, can you, you know, download different launchers to kind of change it up, make it look a little bit better? Obviously, yes. Um, not sure if they do use the Play Store with this or not. I'm going to guess they do. The reason why I say that is because a lot of times, a lot of these Chinese companies, when it comes to cell phones, they actually have pre-installed software on there. Um, where is some of them are Android, some of them are not Android. Uh, just because it's hard to get Google licensing for Android on cell phones sometimes, especially if you're a small company or you're a startup company, it's usually hard to kind of get things to work out. Um, I know if you buy, for example, if you buy the um, Oppo Find and 5G one uh, off eBay, they actually give you options. They say, "Hey, listen, do you want uh, Play Store uh, downloaded and installed, or you don't want it at all?" So you could actually ha get the phone. And not have the Play Store anything installed and just have kind of the basic phone, which is again, like I said, you know, that's why I asked that question. So, again, just more pictures of the actual phone, which absolutely looks gorgeous. And I cannot wait to see, you know, I cannot wait to see more options available when it comes to foldable phones. Because, again, every time I see Oppo or I see any of these foldable phones, it just really propels the market so much farther. And then we have a teardown of the Oppo Find 5G, which, again, like I said before, nothing too crazy special is shown here. This is a basic render, though. It's not like it's actually detailed pictures of it being torn down, but still looks absolutely gorgeous. And then we have this phone right here, which, of course, is the Find N2 Flip. And this is the direct comparison, like I said before, to the Galaxy Z Flip 4, which I think is so much better because of how big the outside display is. You know, you look at the Galaxy Z Flip 4, and don't get me wrong, it's not bad. It just has a one-by-one -one ratio display on the outside, while this one, the whole outside, pretty much is a display 
which again another thing i gotta say people said hey listen i don't like the fact that the outside display is so small on the z flip 4 so oppo goes okay fine we're gonna make the exact you know outside display bigger so everyone can be happy and get exactly what they want out of these uh phones and again it just makes the outside display actually more usable actually more you know durable too so it's very nice i love it and then bam more outside display pictures then you have the tear down of the actual phone which just looks more, less like a render and more like the actual tear down of the phone uh which again like i said before both these phones are not going to give you wireless charging uh they're going to give you nfc but they're not going to give you any kind of waterproofness which i know i saw a comment about somebody said before like hey why is waterproofness really matter that much when it comes to affordable phones it doesn't what it does is it adds another level of security so while yes you know could you use this phone without waterproofness and be absolutely fine no problem at all and walk away scot-free absolutely yes but the whole point is it does give a next level of water it gives a next level of security to know if you spend whatever you spend let's say two thousand dollars on a cell phone that not only is the screen durable on the outside not only screen durable on the inside but you also now have the level of security that you know you don't worry about if it gets wet it's gonna break right that's the whole point of these foldable cell phones is a lot of people are scared that they're going to break so easily. And, you know, waterproofness just adds another level of that factor. A lot of times it doesn't really matter in the actual, like, instance of saying, like, oh, listen, I can go swimming with this phone. It's just because of the fact that people like the security, right? And this case actually looks disgusting on this phone not gonna lie to you but overall wise guys those are our updates on the z on the z oh my god i almost call it the z flip 4 the uh oppo fine n2 and of course the oppo fine flip flip i don't think there's a flip 2 i think it's just a flip but tell me down below guys thoughts and opinions and i'll see you guys in the next one peace up